One then wants to evaluate neck veins. And an observation that should have been made when the patient was sitting up was whether or not the neck veins were distended to the angle of the jaw. Clearly, neck veins have, as a manometer, are an indirect manometer of left ventricular end diastolic pressure and a direct manometer of right ventricular end diastolic pressure. So if the neck veins are very distended sitting up, one can be pretty much assured that one is dealing with a patient who has left ventricular end diastolic pressure elevation. One also wants to evaluate the waveforms, the AC and V waveforms of the jugular pulse. And one looks at the jugular pulse in a way which is very easy to enlarge and exaggerate the pulse motion, is to take a pen light and to place your hand on the sternum and to shine a light tangentially to the jugular pulse. And you are then looking for ACV waves. You'll remember that the A wave is related to atrial contraction. The X descent is the relaxation of the atria. The C wave is closure of the tricuspid valve, the X prime descent, which is descent to the base of the heart, and the V wave is atrial filling, which culminates with the Y descent, which is when the tricuspid valve opens. Any abnormality of the valves or compliance of the valves or of the ventricle will give you an abnormality of these particular waveforms. So they're really very important to evaluate, and they're done in this manner.